Alex. Hello everybody, welcome back. Thanks for joining me here today. So, what have we got coming up in this week's show? Well, it's bargains galore, actually. I can get you the Chris Green Wildfowling DVDs for like £7.50 instead of £20. I can get you the same deal on some Johnny Scott books. There's stuff coming out from Gray and Downing, the Sporting Shooters Handbook. I've got some really, really good deal for you. Also, we've got the dates for the major championships. We've got a close look at the new conservation coins that have come out. We've also got how to win £1,400 worth of wine for just £2. All this and more, plus why we should all have taken the CPSA membership raffle more seriously. So stay tuned, but for now, we're heading over to Doveridge to have a very quick look at what is Gun of the Week. Okay, it's not that. Straight to the video. Yeah. Look at this. 690 Field 1. This is in the 20 ball. I recently heard at the Doveridge Cafe, which is just over there, that you only buy 20 ball as an excuse to buy a second gun. I'm not sure that's true, but it does hold some water. Have a look. I like this traditional looking Beretta. I like the dark wood on a Beretta. I'm not going to say they don't make them like that anymore. That's for you to decide. But I can tell you that this is only £1,695. And you get £50 off if you mention Strictly Shooting or the Premier Guns Instagram page, which will take you to £1,645 for this beautiful, beautiful gun. 1645 what a wonderful year. If you mention me, you will get an extra £50 off. This is a deal that we're doing on selected guns, and I really want you to make the most of that, because not only does it help keep me in a job, but also £50, it can help to cover your fuel, it can get you 10 pints of the good stuff. I mean, I'd call that a night out for two, you know? So definitely don't feel shy about coming forward and claiming that £50 off. We really want to be bringing people into shooting. We want you to be having the guns that you see here, stuff that you like, coming to Doveridge, trying it out, you know, so come along and get involved. And don't, don't worry if, if one of the guns you've seen advertised has got like 15,000 views. It may still be available. So just, just get in touch and find out, okay? Right, back to this 690. I've shot one of these before in the past. I've been, I was very impressed with it uh, after I'd finished with it, not when it initially came out of its slip. As I say, I really like the dark wood on there. I like a Beretta with dark wood. Now I used one of these on a sim day and also on the partridge. This is going for half the price it was when it came out. I prefer it to the new Silver Pigeon. And it's interesting how they called it the 691 field. It's because they didn't want to get it confused with the 692, obviously. Um, but there is a 693, which yeah, there. The, the 693 is essentially just better wood, but I think the wood on this particular gun is really, really nice. I like the, I like the black on there, I like the barrels, I like the fact that it's a 20 bore. Uh, this would be ideal for a sim game day. If you've got the taste for that, you'd be, you'd be well away. But you can use it just as happily on, on clays or game. But yeah, it's a ni nice looking gun, isn't it? Nice. Another thing about it, although it's a typical game gun in many respects, it's not too light. You know, it's got the Beretta Steelian barrels. Obviously it's auto safe. Now I'm not advocating fiddling with safety on the peg, but if you are into that kind of thing, it's a, it's a very rewarding catch and selector. Um, really, I just really like the design of this. I think it's beautiful, I think it's delicate, but most of all, I know that it'll perform. And that, that's what's important really. The chokes are just Optima chokes, but you can hand detach them. Um, so that makes it easier if you're into chokes, you know, maybe we could talk about that sometime. That's always an interesting topic of conversation, eh? Hey? Those black bits on the fore-end iron and here are what distinguish it from the, um, from the 680 series. So, you know, even shooting plays, it's a different experience. It's one that's worth having. So the 690 Numero Uno, that's my, that's my gun of the week. Come and, come and see it at Doveridge. It's, it's, it's waiting. I'll be in the shop Thursday, so if you are interested, come along, maybe we can have a shoot with it and, uh, and see what you think. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. And as I say, I do pick and choose my Berettas very, very carefully. You have to. And I'm lucky at Premier Guns, they let me pick and choose what I like.
So, let's get on with the rest of the news. So many of you will remember me trying to keep a straight face while announcing that the CPSA have done a raffle where you can win the numbers double E1 and double E2. Well, okay, so the winner's been announced and let's look a bit further into this because this is a heck of a story actually. The numbers were do donated by the family of the late Arthur Poulton and his widow Pat. So they had them. So somebody's donated the numbers. And I didn't realise this was such a big thing, you know. Although my, my CPSA number is Ref57, which I think is pretty cool, but... So they raised money for Dementia UK and the Alzheimer's Society. So altogether, they raised over £6,000. Look at that. Well done to the CPSA. I just want to take a moment to talk about the winners. Here they are, look. Christopher Jones and Paul Bryan. I saw Paul Bryan and I thought, wow, what a man, you know, he's got himself all dressed up, he's got his new membership, he's got his Maruku hat on and he's got it in his hand, he's got his ski vest on, his GWCT badge, you know. Oh, wow. Um, I'm really delighted for both of them. One thing I did do, though, I noticed that... Uh, there's a QR code. I thought, well, I'll scan that. So I did. And this is what came up. <laughs> so that's just a little interesting aside for you. But well done to everybody who has been involved with that. So well done again. It's lovely to raise money for charity. We're always doing it in shooting, as many of you know, and as many of you have done. So thank you and keep supporting these, these worthy causes. Now talking of the GWCT, we're going to have a closer look at these coins. All right, we're just picking a few of them. King Charles has actually done a private address to the Missing Salmon Alliance. I'm going to be looking further into salmon and the situation there. You'll remember um, sometime last year I did something about farmed salmon. Can you remember? Top 26 when I broke the story that they put farmed salmon on the menu. For the, uh, yeah, that was a bit of a disaster for all involved, really. But yeah, let's have a look at this. It's quite nice. Notice we haven't got a picture of what the king's head is actually going to look like. And I've also noticed, because I had to trade in some of my older stamps, that the new ones that have come back have still got the queen's head on. I had over 600 stamps. What, what am I thinking? And here we've got the Cape Cayley. Look. Now we're all pretty sure that King Charles has, has hand-selected these because of his dedication to wildlife and that should give us all hope um, for the future because obviously he's a hunting, shooting, fishing family so they kind of understand where we're coming from. So we're, we're, we're very, very well placed at the minute for carrying on with our sport, for carrying on with our conservation efforts and there, there isn't too much need for anybody to be in a panic if you do want to know more about the Cape Cayley, one of the people that I found to be so interesting, in fact two of them, are um, Bert Burnett and Ian Coghill. They are absolutely on the money with that. Speaking of Ian Coghill, I can also get you a discount on his book, £10 off, taking it to 15 I'll put a link in the description for you for all these things and for you to have a look at the Beretta 691, the field version. And maybe I'll put a link in for the ATA traps as well so you can have a look at that. Right, let's have a look at the competition locations. Right, so kicking off, we've got the English Open at Doveridge on the 1st to the 5th of May. I will have a good look around. I hope to see some of you, some of you there in May. That'll be, uh, that'll be a good little do. Um, what else have we got? Let's have a look. The 25th and 26th of May, we've got the English Open Skeet at the National Clay Shooting Centre, or as we call it, Bisley. DTL at Bywell, as always. Barbary have got the English Open Sport Trap and Super Sporting. Really interested in Super Sporting. Got the World DTL there, look at Bywell, no surprise there. The English Open ABT. North Hampstead, British Open Skeet at Nottingham, British Open Sport Trap at Swinton. Please make sure you go to the right one. I have made that mistake myself in the past. Obviously it makes a fun story now. It wasn't so great at the time. <laughs> and um, we've got the British Open Super Sporting at High Lodge, which was arguably the first home of Super Sporting anyway at, uh, at John Bidwell's. 
Right, let's see, what have I missed? Ah, yes, the awards are open for the CPSA for the usual registered categories and also the Countryside Alliance have got some awards open as well. Nominations are open for those. Trees Coffee said it was the, uh, the highlight of her calendar. Maybe she says that at every reception, I don't know. The wine, of course, the wine. You want to know how to win £1,400 worth of wine for £2. You can, there's a really, really excellent selection of prizes. This is by a company called Tanner's Wine. I'd never heard of them before. Please do have a look at this. This is on the Basque website. The closing date is sooner than you imagine. It's on the 30th of November, but there are 15 prizes up for grabs with Tanner's Wine. So I'm very, very impressed with this. And just two pounds to enter. It's gonna be classy and it's going to be ideal for Christmas. And before I go, I'd just like to leave you with this beautiful picture which came to my attention on Facebook last night. Look at that. I hope you're all having an excellent season. Please do ask me any questions, make any inquiries about anything that you'd like to hear or see more of. I'm here for you, so let me know what you're interested in. Let me know if there's any guns you want to look at when I go over to Dulbridge. I know I'm taking quite a few inquiries on those anyway, and I'm always happy to help. Thank you everybody for watching. It's like, subscribe, and I'll see you next week. Thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves. and. And stay safe in the storm. Proudly sponsored by Premier Gun.